this is a video tutorial on the Infinity controller. As it sits right now, we are on a hold. We are attempting to heat to 68 degrees, and his system is running. Up here on the upper left on the side of the unit is a button that will toggle the outside temperature displayed below the 60 degree room temperature between that and indoor humidity. It will automatically toggle back to outside temperature. Over here on the upper right, you've got your little fan icon and that will toggle the system between automatic where it is currently to low, medium, high, and those low, medium, high fan speeds are constant run. Another touch ring turns it to automatic. Down here on the bottom right of the screen, we've got a button that will toggle system status. It'll display what the system mode is, what the fan is doing, what the furnace is doing and outside temperature, indoor humidity, and target humidity. Pressing that button that you use to enter will exit it. Bottom left side, you've got a button that will toggle the air filter and other accessories if they're installed, how much they've been used based on system um, measurements. The bottom right button is now designed to reset so that when you change your filters, it'll reset the system. And then you can press exit on the bottom left to return to the previous screen. Down here on the left, there is a button labeled hold that will toggle and cancel the hold feature. On the right here, you have a heat button. When it is initiated or operational, the light will flash red. Below it, you have a cool button. That button will initiate a blue light right above the cool label. If you were to press both of those buttons at the same time, it will initiate automatic system control, which will then display cooling and heating temperatures, at which time the system will maintain temperatures based on those extremes. At the bottom here, there's a little flip out door, which covers the off label for the switch on the bottom right, and also gives you access to the scheduling and the vacation, as well as basic setup and advanced setup. Basic setup will allow you to change the time and day of the week. To scroll between hours, minutes, and day, you use the silver scroll bar. Press down to toggle down to minutes. Press down to toggle down to days. And another press will jump back to the top. You can also go from the top to the bottom and etc. It also displays that you need to press basic to exit this setup section. The scheduling feature, pretty straightforward. You can select your times and temperatures for all days, weekdays, weekends, or each day individually. Vacation will allow you to override everything to a standard set of 60 and 80. Those temperatures can be adjusted, and the day of the week can be adjusted with the little clock button over here. So if you were going to the beach for three days, you could simply press vacation, tell it you're going to be gone for three days, and it also tells you press vacation to start vacation. You also have to press vacation to cancel if you are accidentally in this screen. You can either confirm or deny. The advanced setup is something that the customer will not utilize and I don't see necessary to go through in this walkthrough. We are going to go ahead and return to heat only. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.